Hello beautiful people and welcome back to another MB Heritage Farm video. In case you didn't know my name is Michael and today we're going to be talking about chickens and this video is going to be part of our playlist troubleshooting chickens. So in this video we're going to be talking about uh, the most common problem that arises with chickens and 99% of the time the homesteaders fault. So let's go ahead and get started guys. So now the biggest problem arising right now with chickens is uh, foot funguses. Right now the most common type is bumblefoot. Nine times out of ten, it's our fault that they get it. Most of the time, free range chickens hardly ever get it. So I'm going to go ahead and explain to you how to completely prevent it. Don't even worry about treating it if you know this one secret, just one thing guys. If you implement it, you won't ever have to worry about bumblefoot. So let's go ahead and show you what I'm talking about. So, the reason why I say it's most of the time our fault or the homesteader's fault is because free-range chickens, as you can tell right here in front of me, uh, these guys are walking on natural terrain. It's spongy, it's soft, it's not always bare dirt. So, rarely ever will these chickens ever get any type of foot fungus. So, I guess the best explanation is this chicken here is walking on much different terrain than these pretty girls over here. But see, as you can see, all the natural cover on the ground in this coop is gone. It's because uh, we just have went in and removed the bedding out of this coop so we could put in all new and fresh. It's important that you make sure your coop chickens um, always have a natural bottom to keep it as natural as you can. But when your chickens are in a coop all year long, uh, the natural cover is always going to go away. It won't ever grow back. Uh, the bigger the space your chickens are in, the longer it takes for it to happen, but it will happen. So here's a diagram explaining what I'm talking about, but once your chickens take over a spot and take away all the natural cover, eventually they're going to compact all that soil down into a hard pan or a hard top. And all it's going to do is hold moisture, and that's where the problem comes in. That's the number one way that our chickens are having fungus and all kind of bacteria transferred up through the foot is because of that nasty, wet, moist soil that never gets dried up, and they're always constantly walking on it. Now what we use here for a natural bottom for our chickens to walk on can range anywhere from uh, wood shavings, wood chips, sawdust, and all the above usually are mixed with sand, activated carbon, and diatomaceous earth. Now regardless of which one you use, you always want to make sure that you give them at least 6 to 8 inches thick uh, for them to walk on. That is for summer and winter. Now mixing in the sand will allow for more drainage, um, throwing in some diatomaceous earth will cut off a lot of fungus and bacteria already in the soil. The activated carbon will absorb lots of odors and tons of moisture. But you always ensure that 6 or 8 inch depth. Now this is important in the winter time because that natural bottom that they've dug down to, when the winter time comes, it's going to freeze up, get hard. It'll be really abrasive on your chicken's feet. They'll start getting abrasions and cracks and scratches on their feet from naturally scratching, trying to find bugs, and they're gonna cut their feet up. Eventually, once that does happen, the bacteria will feed through those wounds and you'll have a bacteria infection, all kind of stuff going on uh, just from uh, having a bad bottom that your chicken's walking on, and this is usually the number one cause. Okay, y'all, along with MB Heritage Farms, King Midas here says thank you for watching, and as always, you guys keep on keeping on, and we'll see you next time.